So, James, as an athlete, staying fit is part of the job. Is that something that you enjoyed or was it more of a chore? Well, thank you, first of all, for noticing that I'm fit, Colleen. I'll say that <laughs> without the, with the help of any filters and just a good bit of tailoring. Um, yeah, look, fitness is very important to me. It's my life. I don't want to go on about being in amazing shape. Um, what about yourself? You know, are you a bit of a fitness freak? I used to be a competitive figure skater, and now I think about working out a lot, but physically, um, I don't really follow through as much. I'll listen to these podcasts, though, if they can help make me swole. I feel like that. That might help. The nominations here uh, in this category involved running, biking, rowing, nutrition, weightlifting, everything in between. Here are your nominees for Best Fitness Podcast. The Pink Bike Podcast, Running For Real, Mind Pump, Raw Fitness Truth, Fit Dad Fitness, Row Along, Meathead Test Kitchen, The Training For Ultra Podcast, Wellfar, the running podcast. And the winner for best fitness podcast is Running for Real. Congratulations, Tina. I am just taken by all of the medals that are behind you hanging up right now. You are very accomplished. And now you can add another award to the mix. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. So this podcast, it's about uh, a shared love of running, but it's much more than a fitness podcast. So tell me everything. We have people from all over the board, you know, um, from Olympians to everyday runners, from dietitians to psychologists uh, and everyone in between. But the whole goal of it is to get to know the person beyond that love of running, um, the person underneath um, and just the things that matter to them and how we believe that we can all make this world a better place um, if we use those strengths and, and show them to the world. So we pride ourselves on unique conversations and um, yeah, it's uh, it's been really fun to get to know the guests along the way. What's your favorite part about having this successful podcast? I mean, the community part is is incredible, getting to know people from all over the world with all different journeys. But I think the biggest thing is that uh, running is actually a really great analogy for life. And so getting to see that in play in so many different people's lives and their journeys and what they go through in the rest of their life that often translates to a running journey uh, that has been really special to see. What does winning this award mean to you and all of the work that you've put into this whole project? Being able to be um, acknowledged and appreciated for something that I genuinely love to do and love the people that I meet and have made some just lifelong friendships from these conversations. It's just such a good feeling to know that it is possible to really, really love what you do and also be able to, to celebrate that um, that part of you or that part of your business can be successful and change other people's lives as well. So I think probably that. You're an inspiration to so many, including myself. I might even go for a jog after this. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> I might get crazy. Congratulations again, Tina, and keep up the great work. 